What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a reset password page. Now this is a page that we're going to be creating here. Now as you can tell someone can just add their email or username and they can reset their password. Now this does work with, um, with your login page as well. So if you do have your own custom login page, whenever someone clicks on forget password, they go into your reset password page. So it does integrate and it works perfectly. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out a lot. And go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go into plugins, go ahead and click on add new, and go ahead and type in reset password. And we're gonna want to install this plugin here. So go ahead and install it and then activate it. And this one is called front end reset password. So make sure you install and activate that. Now, what we need to do first is go into our um, settings for our front end reset password. So go ahead and click on settings, or you can go into settings and it should be right at the bottom, front end reset password. So it's gonna ask us to choose our, our um, reset password page. So we're gonna do that right after we've created it. But before we create it, go ahead and grab the short code here, reset password. So go ahead and copy that go into your pages, go ahead and click on add new. And I would suggest calling this page reset password. And then go ahead and paste, oops. Go ahead and paste your short code. And then go ahead and click publish. Now go back to your dashboard, go into settings, go into front, uh, front end reset password, and go ahead and choose your uh, page that we created. So reset password, perfect. And we're gonna click on save changes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and log out and I'm gonna show you how this page looks like. I'm gonna click log out here. We'll go to the login and then I'm going to click on forgot password. And as you can tell, it's going to take me to this page here. And now my visitors can reset their password just by adding their email or their username. And that's how you would go ahead and create it. Now, for those of you that have Elementor and they want to add this into Elementor, I'm pretty sure you're able to do that as well. But let me go ahead and log in. You can go to your dashboard go into pages and go ahead and click edit. And we're gonna to try to edit this with Elementor. So we have the short code in here, so we're able to use that as well. And then we also have this above, but we can make this full screen anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this full width for Elementor. Go ahead and save that there. And then refresh my page here, just in case it's not working. There we go. So now from here, we can go ahead and add a section. I can bring it right above here. And then I can expand the minimum height of this. Maybe I can add a background to this. Let me go ahead and add some text in here first. And then I'm gonna go in here and add a background. I'm just gonna grab any simple background. I might even just grab a background that I already have. Maybe call this password or reset password. And then I'm gonna have this off to the middle and I'm just gonna do some quick stylizing to this. There we go. Now it is very similar to the one that we had earlier, but I'm sure you guys can customize it a lot better than that. Maybe we can add some minimum height to this as well. And there we have it. Now, if you guys did wanna stylize this a bit, I'm not gonna get into stylizing this with CSS too much. But if this was something that you guys wanted to do, this is just, um, this is just uh, something that you guys can try. 
Now I'm not saying I'm not saying go ahead and do it. It maybe it already looks fine to you, but you guys can go ahead and just click inspect. So if you guys don't know how to do that, let's sorry, let me just go back. Right click it, go into inspect. And then over here, you guys can go ahead and, and choose um, some of this text here. And you have your CSS right here. So you guys can go ahead and just stylize this if you guys want. Um, that is a little bit more advanced. But let me know if you guys do want me to create a video on that and I can show you guys kind of how to stylize this with some CSS. I might have another video that might go over this um, later on in the future, but I did want to give you guys that option there. Now that's basically it for this video. If you did find it helpful, uh, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us out a lot. So as always, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.